Hello boys and girls, and welcome to Karen Reed. I'm sitting in my living room in South Berwick, Maine, with a new book to read for you called A Hand to Hold. It's written by Zeta Elliott, who's an award-winning author of more than 20 books. She lives in Brooklyn, New York. The illustrator has an unusual name. Purple is her first name, Purple Wong, and she lives in Hong Kong. And she's done many illustrations. Okay, a hand to hold. I have always had a hand to hold. When I came home from the hospital, Daddy put his pinky finger next to my hand and my tiny fingers curled around his. When I took my first steps, Daddy's hands reached out for me. He and Mama clapped real loud when I walked all by myself. Daddy's hands are big and strong. They push me high in the sky when I'm on the swing. Daddy's hands can also be gentle. When I fall and scrape my knee, Daddy wipes, wipes away my tears and covers the cut with the bandage. And Daddy's fingers know how to find all my tickle spots. I'm not a baby anymore, but I still love to hold my daddy's hand. When it's time to cross the street, daddy blinks his hand at me, open, closed, open, closed. Daddy's hand keeps blinking until I slip my hand inside his. Then we both look both ways and cross the street together. We hold hands on our way to the park, at the grocery store, and at the library. Sometimes new places can be frightening, but I'm never scared when I'm holding my daddy's hand. One day it was time for me to start school. Daddy took my hand and we walked there together. I had never been to school before. I felt happy and excited, but also nervous and afraid. What would school be like? I wasn't sure, but as long as Daddy held on to my hand, I knew everything would be okay. There were lots of children inside the classroom. Some of them were laughing and some of them were crying. I tucked at Daddy's hand. Let's go play over there, I said. Daddy smiled at me but shook his head. It's time for me to go now, he said. No, I cried. I had held on to Daddy's hand as tightly as I could. Inside, my heart was going 
ba boom ba boom ba boom if you don't let go of my hand how will you play with the other children asked daddy I looked at all the kids having fun I don't want to play anymore I said I buried my face in my daddy's leg Daddy knelt down and cupped my face in his soft brown hands. You're not afraid, are you? I wanted to be brave, but inside I felt scared. I nodded and a single tear rolled down my cheek. Daddy brushed my tear away. Don't be afraid, he said. You're not alone. There are lots of children here. Another tear rolled down my cheek. Daddy kissed it away. If you keep your hands open, said Daddy, you'll soon grab hold of something new. You can't paint a picture or play in the sandbox if you're holding on to my hand. I looked around the classroom. There were lots of fun things to do. Only a couple of kids were crying now. All the other children were making friends and having fun. I wanted to have fun with them, but I didn't want Daddy to go. Daddy wrapped his arms around me and gave me a hug. In my ear, he whispered, if you let go of my hand, you can still hold on to me with your heart. That way I'll always be with you, even when our hands don't touch. Can you do that, asked Daddy? Can you hold on with your heart? Maybe, I whispered. Let's try it now and see what happens, Daddy said with a grin. He slipped both hands into his pockets and went to stand by the door. I stood by myself in the middle of the class. My heart was going boom, ba boom, ba boom. My fingers felt lonely without a hand to hold. Should I grab a hold of something new? A paintbrush? A shovel? A book? I just held my, hold, my own hand and watched the other children play. Then a lady with a friendly face came over to talk to me. She was holding a little girl by the hand. I'm looking for a partner for Ginny, she said. Would you like to play with her in the sandbox? Ginny looked sad and a little scared. Suddenly my lonely fingers knew just what to do. I smiled and held out my hand. Jenny slipped her fingers inside mine and smiled back at me. My mommy just left, said Jenny. Did you cry, I asked. Ginny nodded and looked at her shoes. That's okay, I told her. I cried a little too. Ginny smiled again and gave my hand a squeeze. Did your mommy leave already, she asked. I shook my head 
and looked towards the classroom door. My daddy brought me to school today, but he's going home now. Daddy took one hand out of his pocket. He touched his heart and then waved goodbye. With my free hand, I waved back at Daddy. And then Ginny and I went to play. Okay, hope you enjoy the book, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.